All right, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host Matt, playing some more Knights of the Old Republic. So, Mission Zalbar and I just invaded the uh, Volker base, or I should say, infiltrated. So, let's go ahead and see what this base has to offer. All right, so I'm in a long hallway, metallic hallway. It's pretty well lit. There's a bunch of doors everywhere. I have no idea where I am. Oh, there's a patrol here. Let's go get them. So, I don't really have good sense of direction just yet. Turn the volume down a bit. There we go. I'm going to explore all the rooms. Oh, there's a sentry droid here. See if I can reactivate it and uh I need a lot of repair parts to get it to work. I don't have enough. Yeah, even just that part that I got from that bin just now, uh, I won't have enough to really, uh... Oh! Volkers and droids. Anyway, I won't have enough to repair the combat droids, so I'm just gonna fight these things the old-fashioned way. If I can find security systems to slice, I'll, uh, use those instead, because I think that takes, uh, fewer, uh, components. Mission and I are a little low on health. Huh? I'm gonna have us. Yeah, inject those health packs. Oh, another droid. This place is full of, uh, baddies. To be fair, I am in the main Volker base. Oh, there's a waitress here. Let's talk to her. Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. How did you end up here in the Volker base? My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here at the Volker compound to pay off the debt. Jeez. All right, I, I just want to ask you a few questions. Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Volkers. I hate them. All right, I'm looking for Bastila. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. What about the swoop engine accelerator? What? I I've never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Alright, if I let you go, can you find your way out? Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I think I could find my way out of here. Alright, get out of here. Uh, I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? Uh, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me! Awesome. Just saved someone from a lifetime of slavery. Alright. Let's loot some of these guys. Keep searching areas around here. Mm, there's a gas mine here. I'll have a mission disable it and actually recover it in case we want to use it later. Sure. Got some more parts. I'm just gonna open all these doors. Oh! Another Vulcar. Oh, got him in one hit. Okay. There's a foot locker here. Oop. A sentry. The room they're guarding looks important. Just a small room off by itself. Alright. Oh, did we get them all? Oh no, there's one left. Oh, <laughs> 
There we go. Now we got him. All right, let's check out this room all by itself. Ooh, there's a security panel over there, too. Oh, this is an armory. Maybe I can use the security panel to open it up. All right. Security panel. All right, let's slice the computer. Ooh, I have a lot of computer spikes. All right, access security cameras. So the armory, that's where we are now. Okay, the barracks. Ooh, a lot of Vulkers in there. Eight. Let's overload that conduit and kill them all. Sweets. I just killed seven of the eight. And I, I did get experience points for all that. So let's go back to the menu. Recreation room. There's no one in there. The pool. All right, looks like the pool is empty right now. There's a utility droid in there, but that's all. The elevator to the garage. Ooh, there's a security system there. Let's shut it down. So now the security system won't uh, attack me when I'm going over there. It's guarded by a bunch of turrets. Uh, control room. There's just one guy in there. Return to the menu. Access system commands. Let's open all the security doors. Uh, I don't have enough spikes to upload the area schematics. Alright, well, I got all the security doors open. And I got a couple of experience points for that. So the armory's been open, so let's see what's in here that I can steal. A couple of grenades. Mm, a disruptor rifle. A heavy blaster. I'm gonna give some of this stuff to Mission. So I'm gonna give her a heavy blaster right there. And let me see, I'm gonna keep her blaster pistol. Give her a heavy combat suit. That's pretty good, she should be more effective now. Sure. Okay. Well, let's keep walking around and see what I can find. That looks like the way out to the main area. So let me... Yep. Oh, that goes back to Lower City. I don't want to go back just yet. I want to keep exploring this base. Seeing who I can help and who I can kill. Let's see, I just went... Oh, there's a Volker patrol. Oh, it's a droid. Let's get him. Awesome. Okay. So now I've been everywhere in this wing. So let's move to the other wing. There's the elevator down to the lower level. I don't want to go there just yet. But that's where I'm probably going to find the swoop accelerator. Let's go to this main area right here where the security panel was and see if I can... Oop! Never mind. Froze just for a second. Oh, There's a Volker I can kill. This is the command center right here, so there's probably... Oop! I surrender, I surrender. Please don't kill me. I'm not like these others. I'm not like Brejik and his new Volkers. What are you talking about? You're a Volker, aren't you? I'm a Volker, but I was here long before Brejik took over. I was a Volker back when it meant something, back when we had honor. Then Brejik and his followers took over and turned our gang into a bunch of violent thugs and bloodthirsty punks. Now they treat all us original Volkers like second-class citizens. Take me, for example. I used to be one of the highest-ranking Volkers in the gang. Now I'm stuck on guard duty here in the back, all thanks to Brejik. Alright, um... Why don't you just leave the gang? I've been trying to work up the courage to leave, but it's not that easy. Brejik's followers will try to hunt down anyone who leaves the Volker gang. He says he won't let traitors live. Ha. Huh. Brejik and his followers are the real traitors. They turned on Gadden, and now they slaughter the Bex in the streets, and anyone else they happen to run across. Brejik knows anyone with character will never, will never willingly follow a leader like him, so he uses brutality and violence to stay in power. Alright, so I'm going to let you live. Get out of here. Thanks, thanks a lot. And don't worry, I won't cause any trouble for you on the way out. In fact, I hope you take Brejik and his Volkers down. Alright. Looks like Brejik's uh, gang is starting to fall apart just, my, just by me being here. Ooh, yeah, there's the one Volker left in the barracks that I didn't kill. Oh, he's pretty weak. Alright, let's loot everything in here. Ooh, there's a ID card. That can probably get me into certain areas in the Volker base. Mm, 100 credits. Excellent. Alright. 
Awesome. Got some good stuff there. There's the pool. See if there's anything in here. Oh, there's a footlocker down in the pool. Oh god, there's... It's booby trap. There's gas all in here. Ugh. I'll need to heal. Oh, I probably could have had the droid do it for me. The droid's inactive. Dang. Oh well, I'll just heal myself with a med pack. And let's see. I have another cardio regulator. Ooh, mission has a stealth field generator. I'll give cardio regulator to Zalbar. Sure. Alright, keep moving. Uh, I think I've explored everything I can here. Yep. So let's head down to the um, down to the next level. I guess that's what that ID card I got was for. All right. Oh, where's the rest of my party? Where's Big Z? Where'd you go? Zalbar's lagging really far behind. He's coming. What? Where'd mission go? Did she just glitch out on me? Huh? Oh, she's right here. All right. Big Z. Okay, we're all back sure. together. All right, now we can go down the lower level. All right. Ooh, there's a droid here that I can set into patrol mode. Let's see. I have a good couple of repair parts now. Uh, I can engage it in patrol mode, act, optimize its weaponry, get its targeting systems. Only thing I can't do is activate its shields. But, you know, it can at least walk around and kill some things before they kill it. Oh, there was another droid here. Eh, as long as I got the one, it's it'll clear out some of the Volkers for me. Hmm. They have a droid here in patrol mode. Got it. And nothing in here. Oh, there's a loading dock here. So this area is like a big garage. There's a bunch of swoop bikes here, so I guess this is where I need to be. Yeah, that droid's killing a few things. I don't know how long it'll last, though. Droid's still helping me out. Nice. Let's see, how's its health? Oh, it's still mostly full. Good. Ooh, another heavy blaster. I'm gonna give that to Mission, so now she'll have two heavy blasters. And her combat effectiveness will just be that much better. The droid is still walking around. Alright. Well let's let it do its thing and we'll walk around and check what check out what's around here. So I'm leaving the garage area, I'm going into a hallway. There's a couple doors here. Let's see what's in here. Oop, a Vulker. <laughs> This looks like just a maintenance area. Ooh, let's loot him. Getting a good couple credits from here. Ooh, the garage head's desk. I got a couple Pazak cards. Ooh, and the garage head's ID card. Excellent. Well, I got a couple computer spikes. Let's take a look at what I can do here at the computer. So I can slice the computer, access the security camera. So there's the garage where I came from. The garage office, that's where we are. Loading bay. Engine lab, there's a couple of guys there. Back to the root menu. System commands, let's open up all the security doors. That's all I can really do here. 
since I don't have the the uh, computer spikes for anything else. All right. Looks like there's just one area of the uh, uh, of this floor that I haven't checked out yet. Gas mines. Mission can uh, disarm those. Oh, there's just the one. I wonder if the droid tripped the other. Sure. Oh, jeez. He disarmed it. Whatever. Looks like that droid's still causing trouble. Oop. Let's fight these guys. Alright. Anybody we can loot here? There's another security door there. I'm not going to go in there just yet. None of these guys had stuff on them. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh yeah, that droid is causing some damage. It looks like it killed someone over here. There's a swoop here for maintenance. Ooh, more Vulkers. I guess the droid eventually got killed. Ah oh, well, it did its job. Oh, there's a workbench here. I can probably upgrade some of my weapons. Yeah, let's use it. Ooh, my Achani fiber armor. I can upgrade it with a reinforcement. Defense bonus. Mesh underlay. Sweet. Yeah, let's assemble that. My vibro blade. Let's see if I can upgrade that with anything. Yeah, there's a few things. Awesome. Well, I upgraded some of my equipment, which is pretty neat. So, uh, oh, hey, the droid is still here. I guess it was just walking around somewhere else. All right, well, let's go into this last security door, and hopefully the accelerator's in there. Looks like we have visitors. Lackeys conned by Gad and Thek into trying to steal Bregic's swoop engine accelerator, I bet. Bregic stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Well, I didn't go to all the trouble of acquiring this prototype just so you could steal it back for that old fool. Would you like me to dispose of these Beck spies, Camden? No, hold on a second. I see you aren't wearing the hidden Beck colors, so I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble old man's gang. You must be a freelance mercenary. So this guy's a Twi'lek, by the way. So it says, uh, you're right, I'm not one of the Becks, my name's Dendo Drayson. Instead of stealing the prototype for the Becks, why don't you come work for us? The Black Volkers could use someone like you. I forget it, forget it, I know all about you Black Volkers. Be smart, Gadden Thek is old news, he's a blind fool in more ways than one. Bregic is a visionary, soon he'll control the entire lower city. Don't shackle yourself to a losing team. Um, forget it, I'm not going to betray Gadden. <sighs> I can see there's not much chance of convincing you to come work for us after all. Most unfortunate. Now can I kill them, Camden? Yes, darling, kill them all. There's a lot of guys in here. So there's Camden, his bodyguard, and then uh, two other Vulkers. If I can kill Cannon's bodyguard, I think I'll be in business here. Alright, I've killed her. Let's kill Cannon now. Alright, Cannon's almost dead. Alright, there's one Vulker left. And then I've actually leveled, so, yep, alright. Let's level me up. So my skills, just do the recommended. My feats, uh, let's see. What can I upgrade now? Hmm. 
dueling. I may do that in a little bit. Uh, let's do. Let's upgrade some of my um, sword abilities. So improved critical strike. That sounds good. And accept. All right. Can I loot some of these guys? Ooh, I can loot Candon. Disruptor pistol. Let's see what his bodyguard had on her. Another heavy blaster, an aural amplifier, huh? I don't really do head armor in this because they make you look silly. All right, well, there's a frag mine here. Yeah. It looks like the swoop accelerator is here too, so I'll have mission disarm the mine. Okay. What? N now let's take that accelerator back to the Bex. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna have to go back up to the main floor. Oh, hey droid. That droid's just gonna be patrolling down here the whole time. Out of my way. Okay. Alright, so I'm back on the main floor. And I remember the way out. Looks like there's the door that takes me out. Yep, back to Lower City. Let's head to the Beck base and give them what we have. Ooh, there's Volkers out here. Yep, still haven't beaten them, but I did take out a big chunk of their gang. Awesome. Oh, there's another Volker up here. Ooh, a couple more Volkers. They're all out in the streets now. Alright, I saw a bag that I could loot here. Here we go. Mm, a couple of credits. Not too shabby. Back to the hidden back base. Let's talk to Gadden. You have returned. Do you have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? Yep. I have it right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Alright, I live it to my end of the deal, now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner. And I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Awesome. Gaden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, Gaden. I'll win that race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. 
Sounds like you got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Alright, I'm ready. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. You spend a restless night in the Beck base. In the morning, one of the Becks takes you to the swoop racing pits where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. Oh, he's a Rodian. Alright, let's go with. So you're the one who's going to ride this swoop bike, eh? Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator, and stability won't be a problem, I hope. This guy's an Athorian, one of the hammerhead guys. Gadden mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a swoop bike for you? Nah, I've done this before, so let's do it. I better explain the rules to you. Okay, normally a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. So make your runs count. Gadden's put his trust in you. We need to win this race, or Bregic's Volkers will get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. Alright, how do we get the race started? Go talk to the race announcer by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run, so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you want to go out for another heat. Good luck, and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Alright, so basically, it's not a race where it's like a whole bunch of people out on the track, it's a time trial. So you have to beat the best time. So let's talk to the, uh, let's talk to the race. Oh, hey, Bastel is here in a cage. So yeah, the, Vol the Volkers are all here, and it looks like they have her offered up. She's wearing just kind of a tank top sort of thing, and she looks really dazed. And by the way, Bastel is the same Jedi I saw in my dream that was fighting, so she's got kind of short brown hair with little kind of pigtails out the back, uh, and yeah, she looks dazed and out of it. So hopefully I can uh, win, and I can, you know, get her out of here. So let's talk to the announcer, the Duros guy. You're here to race, right? Let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're riding for the Hidden Becks, I see. Always like them. I hope they can show these Volkers a thing or two, but I digress. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. We're all, we've only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Alright, let's race. Uh, what's the time to beat? 38 seconds and 43 milliseconds, or whatever. Alright, let's do it. So 38 seconds. So I, I have my swoop bike here, which it's kind of like a pod racer. It's got your central section and your pods on either side. And uh, I just I have to hit these accelerators, and I have to just go as fast as humanly possible, and I have to shift gears. It's a manual uh, manual shifter. All right, let's do it. All right, I've activated it. Here's the first accelerator. All right, I've just shifted gears. All right, shift it again, hitting all the accelerators shift it again I missed a couple of accelerators but oh I did it in 25 seconds awesome alright let's see what the authorian says you did it you got the top time you just beat racers who have been doing this for 20 years this is amazing someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes here and wait a minute I don't believe this look at the board one of the Volkers just beat your time oh it was Redros I should have known that's okay the day ain't over yet and the accelerator's still holding together you just have to get out there again and show them how it's done alright let's race another heat alright let's race one of my heats Alright, let's do it again. I didn't see what the time to beat was, but whatever, let's do it. I'm already picking up speed. Oop, did it in 23 seconds there. Yeah. 
You did it. In 20 years, I've never seen anybody handle a swoop like that before. Nobody's going to beat that time. Nobody. I guess Gadden knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders this swoop track has ever seen. Through your skill and courage, you've proven yourself the premier swoop rider on Terrace and brought great glory to the Hidden Bat Gang. Now to present the champion's prize, Bregic, leader of the Black Vulkers. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! You're a damn liar, Bregic. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Bregic. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all of our most sacred traditions. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. Ooh, Bastil is awake. She just force pushed herself out of the cage. Nice. What? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Alright, so it looks like me and Bastila are gonna have to take these Vulkers out. Bastila grabbed one of the uh, Vulkers' double bladed uh, vibra blades. Alright, where's Bregic? Let's kill this guy. He's the only one left. All right, got him. Let's talk to Bastila now. Oh, oh yeah, let's loot Bregic, of course. Oh, we got Bastila's double-bladed lightsaber, Bregic's belt, his armband, and his gloves. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna equip some of his stuff. I'm, I'm gonna equip some of that stuff. So let's see. Hmm. So it looks like his belt and his armband. Um, when used together, does pretty good defense against melee attacks. Nice. Let's talk to Bastila. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Uh, it's a long story. Well, we don't have time for it now. We have to get out of here before the Sith show up to sort out this mess. Is there somewhere safe we can go? Uh, yeah, I got, I got somewhere safe to go. I was planning to take you there after I saved you from Brezik. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezik and his Vulcans would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Oh my god. Alright, we don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. Karth and Nassi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Oh, I'm having another vision. It's a Bastila fighting that Sith again. Looks like they're on a spaceship. Oh. Yeah, the Sith went down. There are a couple other Jedi here and Republic soldiers. Oh, Revan's here. So Revan wears this black cloak and a hood. You cannot win, Revan. Yeah, and he's got like a mask over his face. Oh, looks like there was an explosion. Revan went down. One of the other Sith uh, ships is shooting on this one. So yeah, Revan wears this flat red and black mask with a slit uh, for his Bastard, eyes. You're Ooh. alive. 
Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We were trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Basila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Both of you settle down. This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry. I won't let that happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met, like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? You, fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is... It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of Force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the Force? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So does this mean I could be a Jedi? The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Agreed. And we will find a way off Terrace in the next video.